this is Seema and I'm back with a new lesson on animal idioms. Well, we all know what idioms are, don't we? Well, idioms are nothing but expressions which bring out similarities between people, places, animals or things. But today, we are going to bring out some similarities between animals and people and come up with some really, really interesting expressions. The first one is as busy as a beaver. Now, a beaver is a rodent like an like animal. So if you've seen an animal like, that looks like a, like a rat, but is quite bigger in size, that's what a beaver is. And a beaver is known for always, uh, you know, bringing down trees by constantly pecking at trees, right? So a beaver is always doing something. So when I say that the man is as busy as a beaver, I am talking about a person who is extremely busy. So you could say that my sister is as busy as a beaver. She has no time for anything. That's called being extremely busy. We have another expression called drinks like a fish. Well, this is a very common expression amongst people who drink too much. So when I say that I drink like a fish on weekends, well, I drink a lot. So it's drinking a lot or consuming excessive amounts of alcohol. So when a person drinks too much, you compare or say that the person is similar to a fish because he's always drinking. Uh, our next expression is as innocent as a lamb. Okay, we all have seen a lamb. It's one of the most naive creatures. It's one of the most innocent looking creatures. So when you have people who are really innocent, you compare them to a lamb. So as innocent as a lamb uh, means that we are talking about people who have no guilt, who aren't guilty, who are, or maybe who are very naive. So you could say that the little girl was as innocent as a lamb or that my son is as innocent as a lamb. He wouldn't do anything wrong. Um, our next expression is as quiet as a mouse. Now, we all know how mice are. Well, mice is the plural form of a creature called a mouse. Now, when mice run around your home or anywhere that, where you've seen them, they barely make any noise, do they? Well, that's why we call them really quiet. So anyone who is very quiet is compared to a mouse. So I could say that she walked into the room as quiet as a mouse. So someone who is extremely quiet. So he went into his car and sat as quiet as a mouse, being extremely quiet, no noise at all. Our next expression is as crooked as a dog's hind leg. We've all seen dogs, haven't we? We've grown up with dogs in our homes, in our neighborhood. And if you look at a dog's hind leg, we're talking about the leg, the back legs of the dog. So the dog has four legs, okay? We're not talking about the front two legs, we're talking about the legs at the back, okay? And that's the dog's hind leg, which looks something like this, yeah? So when I'm saying crooked as a dog's hind leg, I'm talking about someone who is quite dishonest. Something's not quite right about him. You know, he's not like the perfect person you want him to be. So you could say something like, the politician is as crooked as a dog's hind leg. Our next expression is as sly as a fox. 
Now, when we were growing up as children, we learned a lot of stories about a very common animal called a fox. And the fox was always depicted as an animal that was cunning, very clever, or shall I say very smart. So when you are talking about a person who is as sly as a fox, you are talking about someone who is very cunning, very clever and very smart. So you could say that the manager of my apartment was as sly as a fox. And our next expression is to act as a guinea pig. Well, what is a guinea pig? We, we know what a pig is, but what is a guinea pig? Well, guinea pigs basically are animals that are mostly, uh, you know, they're wild animals that are uh, grown for the main purpose of eating them. But these days, they're not grown in the wild anymore. They are used in laboratories to perform tests upon them. So when I say act as a guinea pig, I'm talking about using people or things to be tested upon or using people and things where you can perform tests on them. So if I say that uh, the manager of the company used uh, his loyal customers as a guinea pig to try on the new products, what he really did was he, he, he manufactured new products. He wanted to test them on his loyal customers and see what the result is. So those loyal customers acted as guinea pigs for this manufacturer. So that's what being a guinea pig is all about, wherein you are allowing yourself or some people or things to be tested upon. Yeah. And the next one is as scared as a rabbit. Now, if you look at a rabbit, if you just go a little close to it, it's going to run away from you. It's practically very difficult to get hold of a rabbit because they're really scared. They're very jumpy. So when I say that the girl was as scared as a rabbit, I'm talking about someone who's really terrified, really, really frightened. So I could say that the girl was lost, but when we found her, she was as scared as a rabbit. She was really terrified, really frightened. And then we have an expression like as gruff as a bear. Uh, well, we've all seen the animal called a bear. A bear lives on its own. It does not really uh, live amongst other animals, you know, amongst other bears for that matter. So they're very reserved animals. You know, they live by themselves. They hunt by themselves and they practically, you know, just have their own little territories. Uh, now, when I'm talking about being gruff as a bear, I'm talking about a person who is not very sociable. So someone who's very unsociable, someone who's quite rude or someone who's quite abrupt. So when you just ask them a question, they might just answer in monosyllables and just be done with it. So that's what being as gruff as a bear is all about. Uh, gruff, if you use it as an adjective, you can also say that the meaning of gruff could be having a very harsh or a very raspy voice. So I've got a gruff voice because I, I'm very harsh and raspy. But if I compare that to a person, I could say that the person is as gruff as a bear because he is very unsociable, very rude, very abrupt. And our last idiom is being ahead of the pack. So what is a pack? Since we're doing animal idioms, let's relate pack to animals. So in the animal kingdom, you have a pack of wolves. Wolves always hunt in packs. You won't see just one wolf hunting for an animal. They practically have like 10, 12 or maybe even more. Uh, you have a pack of dogs. I'm talking about really wild dogs, not those cute little dogs you keep at home, yeah? <laughs> They're really, really, um, 
you know those wild dogs and they also hunt in really large numbers so they are a pack so when I say that a person is ahead of the pack I'm talking about a person a person who is leading amongst others in the same group so you probably have you know a group of friends who are working in one organization so you are a pack so to speak a pack but if you are the one who is leading who is performing the best I will say that you are ahead of the pack which means you are a person who is leading amongst other people who work in the same group or in the same uh, you know organization as you do so that's it for me on the lesson on animal idioms I'm sure you found them very interesting but now it is time to take a test to see how much you've learned so please click onto the link in the description at the end of this video and tell me what you've scored until then this is me saying goodbye